A long time ago, in a galaxy far, far away, just last year, there was a lot of Star Wars movies coming out. So that's why we're here to report about it on the drop list. So stay tuned. Welcome back, gainers, to another incredible, fantastic episode of Comic Game Time. If you're new to the show, I'm Adam. I'm Zach, and this is Princess Aurora. Hi, it's looking very low today, just like usual, doing that princess way. So you do it too. Bow down, respect, and of course, there's a Coco Dog. All right, guys. Welcome back to this awesome Monday, where every week we report on... The Drop List. Yes, that is right. The comics that were hot, trending, or speculated on one year ago, we try to find out if any of those were, uh, you know, reasonable thoughts or mm -hmm. uh, things you should be looking out for a year later. And... Uh, Surprisingly enough, uh, in June of 2022, there was a lot of Star Wars projects coming out. We had like, what, the Obi-Wan Kenobi show, the Andor project, um, a lot of Mandalorian spec going on. So, mm. lo and behold, this uh, list is all Star Wars books, finally, that happened. Nice. And that really was. They were all on trending or hot list uh, one year ago this week, and we thought it made sense to do an all Star Wars show, because uh, they're pretty interesting. Quite, quite the volatile books. So, uh, that's how we do these, uh, these training lists. This is a video you want to watch. Oh, yeah. Actually, don't even, that wouldn't work because they're already watching, they're already it. watching it. Don't turn off the TV. Don't turn <laughs> off the phone. <laughs> uh, you know what else you should uh, never turn off? You should never stop stopping? You should never stop stopping getting swole, guys. This is muscle milk, guys. Some drink. I found some peanut butter and chocolate. The best and it has alcohol in it, too. and there's alcohol, little a little spike of alcohol, whether <laughs> it is in there originally or not. Who knows? But, Alcoholic know. muscle milk. Oh yeah, that's how you get those real games. Which flavor did you get this time? I just said peanut butter chocolate. Oh, okay. mm, tastes good. <laughs> I'm sure I didn't hear that. Uh, uh, maybe I said it too fast. Peanut butter chocolate. Peanut butter chocolate. Peanut butter chocolate. Is it good? Yeah. Is it better than regular chocolate? Do you prefer the nut? <laughs> <laughs> what the heck? Uh, I, I think the regular chocolate is probably better. I would say. I think they're trying too hard. Regular chocolate's better. Mm. I think they're trying too hard with that nut. <laughs> you know where else you can get some regular chocolate games? Oh, yeah, Hanging know. out with us on Whatnot every Saturday at 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. The Adam and Zach Show Comic Games warms you up. And uh, we have the where we give away a slab every show, and also a Mark Jeweler. And if you stay on a little bit later, Princess hosts her very own show at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, where it's all her own book. She sells, gets those gains, gets you those gains. There is a legendary wheel as well, which you want to see. And uh, yeah, the slab, slab for this Saturday. Yeah, first part, Alan. So yeah. Some good stuff. Good stuff. Come check us out this Saturday. We'll be uh, holding a seat for you. Oh, yeah. Wait. All right, back to the comics. So, like we said, we uh, we do this every week. We report the the dropped comics for the weeks. So, like we check those trending lists, those hot lists a year ago, and uh, we put them all together in a list. And they go in order from the least percentage drop to the highest percentage drop. So we have the number one drop book of the week. And if you stay to the very end of the show, you get to hear Zach's pick of the week, oh, yeah. which is not just a booger; it's an actual no, book. No, no, it's a great. Like, oh, that's a good one. The best pick. <laughs> All right, guys. So, starting off, uh, to start off this list, at number five, we have Star Wars Rebels. This is the thank you trade back, trade paperback that came out last year. This is a really cool, cool one we got. Uh, this one we actually have, and it is triple signed as well. The real, the one regular one on the list is not supposed to be triple signed, but this is just a cool version. Uh, yeah, 2022, this is a various art, various writers and artists. It's a collection of, of books, and actually... The collection is of uh, Rebels Magazine 1 through 35 and oh, 37 cool. and 39. And it's also the Star Wars Animation Magazine 1 through 4. Mm. So they're like inside the magazine, they broke up kind of small, short uh, stories about the Rebels. And they were able to compile them all into, into this book. And uh, it's really cool. Rebels is one of my favorite uh, Star Wars sh anything. And, you know, it's obviously the original trilogy always holds a special place in your heart, but anything they've adapted later on, Rebels is one of my favorite. Mm -hmm. uh, just really great. We're actually able to meet uh, Taylor Gray, Vanessa Marshall, and uh, Tia uh, Sakar at um, at a con, and they signed all the books. Uh, so you got, who's the who's the Rebels crew, Dad? Put the, you on the spot. The actresses? No, the, the real crew? name. The re oh, Can you no. name the whole oh, crew? You got Sabine. Mm -hmm. You got... Oh, now you put it. You got Hera. Yeah. Okay. Kanan. Yep. You got. 
What's his name? Is that, we got Chopper. Yep. You got... Two left. You need to see the book? <laughs> uh, it's early in the morning. Uh, <laughs> or late in the afternoon. Or late in the afternoon, whenever you guys are watching. Uh, <laughs> uh, what's his name? Ezra. Ezra. And? And then the last one, the guy that looks weird. He's not even on the cut. Oh, there he is. Zeb. Zeb Aurelius. Yep. Mm. That is correct. Good job, Zach. Good job. Early, so it's some cool us. stuff. We're looking to get the other signatures. Hopefully we can run into Freddie Prince Jr. again. He's definitely on the list for uh, for us for multiple reasons. <laughs> Not just for signatures. Mm -hmm. uh, definitely a cool book. And Zach will hit you the numbers on this one. It was It is a one per store. So there's a white version of this book that came out. That's the regular one that people could have bought. But every comic store got one, I think, for free as like a oh. thank you. I think if they ordered the white one, I believe. Could have been under those. Because so, it's a thank you one. So there's only one for each store. It's held its value really well, which is why it's at number uh, five on the list. Well, it's a thank you next, guys, because <laughs> this is the lowest on the drop list. As thank in, you. it didn't decrease that much. <laughs> it's, it's a very cool book. Star Wars, the thank you trade paperback, the red version. Prices here go for CGC 9.8. Yes, they graded it. It was $158. Pretty nice. Now it's $129. Not bad drop. It has been as low as 60 and I should have bought it for that. And a high as 158. Average sales 116. It's an 18% drop. Not much. It's going to go back up. I guarantee it. I guarantee it. I guarantee it. <laughs> You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was, it was cool. Like when I had them sign it too, they all said they had, all, all the actors said they had never seen that book before. They were like, this is really rare. And they wanted, each one wanted to like look through it. I'm like, eh, go ahead. I'm not going to get it. They started reading. Yeah, they were like, read, Sabine oh. was like reading the book. She's like, this is so cool. I got to find Sabine in this book. And I'm like, it's cool. Just to have her read she it. She read cool. like half the book. <laughs> at least. It was fun. It was fun. All right. Number four on the list. I was surprised. I thought this would have been number one, but it was only number four. Star Wars Episode One. This is the Obi Wan oh, yeah. Kenobi photo cover variant. Here it is. We don't actually don't have this book, surprisingly enough. Uh, this is a Dark Horse book from 1999. Obviously, it's a photo cover. So you got our good friend Ewan McGregor, who is uh, on the cover. I think. He's coming up on like been in the most uh, Star Wars shows or saying because you know he was in all the original uh, prequels and then it's been some stuff since then as well. But mm -hmm. this was a big deal um, when the Obi Wan Kenobi TV show came out, and uh, I I thought that was good. It, it was kind of it felt a little unneeded, like I wasn't quite sure why we needed this show. Yeah. But then I got that really cool battle at the end, which probably ranks as one of the best lightsaber battles of all time. So then I was like, cool, I'm glad we got this show. Mm. I needed to see a really good battle between Obi-Wan and Darth Vader, because you got yeah. that kind of wimpy one in A New Hope, which could have been potentially <clears throat> a lot better. But um, I believe around that time, he also was doing a CGC signing, so a lot of oh, people cool. were looking for books with actual Ewan McGregor on the cover, because mm -hmm. that always makes a lot more sense. It adds a lot more value. So this book jumped up. Um, it was uh, hot for a while, and um, you know, it's never been in a really, really expensive book. And the strange thing enough is, uh, about this as well is Darth Maul has a lot of keys, which is really, really confusing. He's got like first cover, first, uh, mentioned, first in story. Wow. This book is first appearance of Darth Maul in story as well, which is crazy. I think he has like four different keys. Yeah. There's one that's really good is that one with the red where he's like on the cover, but there's a bunch of other ones. There's one with like little, little Anakin on there that's one of his keys too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Hit, it, hit him with the numbers. Also, there's a glow in a dark version of the photo cover. I found that out the hard way. Um, <laughs> 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 prices a year ago for the CDC 9.8 was $67. <laughs> now it's 47 Not too bad. 47 to 76 is the range. Average sold is 63 It is a 30% price drop. Not a major key, but cool cover. I can get the glow in the dark cover. Just be careful, guys. You don't want to do what I did. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, hello there. Hello. Oh, hello. The book's like, like ah! <laughs> the book's alive. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Next. Uh, number three on the list, which actually had the same percentage as the last book. We decided to do it in this order is the legendary Star Wars issue number two. Da, 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 which we also don't have this. I think we've had this at 
sometime we've here. sold them all here and there we've had it before 1977 roy thomas howard uh chaikin and uh this is uh this is a big book almost as big as as number one but significantly cheaper but uh this says first appearance of obi-wan kenobi han solo and chewbacca in story uh greedo the millennium falcon the death star and it's got this uh job of the hut character which is the uh, early version of Jabba the Hutt. And if, if Zach remembers, we'll put a little picture of him from inside the book. Like the least threatening Jabba the Hutt you ever would see. Bow to me. Exactly, yeah. That's probably why they didn't use this original <laughs> original character. But if you guys ever go back and read um, the story I have recently, um, it's pretty good. The adaptation's very close to the movie, but there's kind of all these extra little added tidbits in that they probably originally filmed and then left out of the movie. Mm -hmm. A lot, a lot more to do with like Big's dark lighter and stuff. He actually has a long conversation with him before they even leave Tatooine. Oh, cool. Which they totally left that part out. And I know in the extended scenes, you can see him have a conversation with Luke on uh, on Yavin before they go up to the Death Star, which they did add back into the later uh, extended ones. But just some cool stuff. That you, if you're a big fan like I am, it's nice to see like those extra stuff. Mm. Be on the lookout for the 35 cent price variant if you see this one it is over a thousand dollars in high grade yeah well, yeah big big time book and uh, another one to be uh, well known there is a whitman variant for this book which is almost the same price as the uh the regular book so oh. it's kind of cool kind of kind of good thing to know you know what else is a good thing to know about this book the price all right so <laughs> <laughs> All right, all right. I won't say anything funny. Uh, <laughs> you price, <just> did. <laughs> uh, price is you go for CC nine point six was six hundred ninety one dollars. Now it's four hundred eighty. Range is two hundred fifty five to seven hundred fifty over a year. Average sale is four ninety six. It's a thirty percent drop. It's a great book, guys. It's multiple first appearances. It's a pretty decent cover. Very decent cover. It goes along with number one. Very well. I would consider getting this book, regardless of the spec news. I would just get it when you can. When it pops up into your lap for a good deal, just get it. Get it graded, ungraded, get it any way you like. You can have it whatever, whatever way you like, guys. <laughs> so said T.I. That works. That works. All right, number two on the list, and this one's um, this one's a cool one. One of my personal personal favorites. And you got Star Wars. Rogue One adaptation number one. That's a that's a mouthful. Uh, this is a Phil Noto cover from 2017. Uh, so that's obviously, obviously an adaptation again of the movie um, Star Wars Rogue One, which I think is probably one of everybody's favorite uh, new movies that have come out. It was definitely better than all of the the new sequels for sure. I thought yeah. I thought it's probably one. Right. Probably one of the best ones, but this is also a very big, big key. It has a lot of key issues in it. And you got first appearance of uh, Cassian Andor, K2SO, Jin Erso, Saw mm. Guerrera. Oh, wow. Uh, director Orson Krennic. So you got the villain too as well. So major, major first appearances. This book got hot again for uh, multiple reasons because they everybody liked Andor so much they gave him his own show. And I think everyone was kind of like really confused about that. Like how good could this Andor TV show was? Well... Surprise, it was really, really, really good. Really good. It was probably one of the best shows I've seen. E equally as good as Star Wars Rogue One as a movie, and or followed up equally as good as a TV show. Um, it's almost like three TV shows in one. So you, yeah. got, uh, you got Heist, you got Prison Break, you got all kinds of stuff. You got, you know. On the Run. Yeah, On the Run. Just just some good stuff. Definitely check that out. Diego Luna, who I love, is, is like amazing in so many things and killed it again in this role. And I don't think we've seen the end of Forrest Whitaker as Saul Guerrero because he loves uh, Disney. And we'll probably oh, yeah. see him again. <laughs> They'll probably do a younger version of him. Even. I mean, they, even, they showed him again in this one as a young oh, yeah. So they could mm -hmm. even do the earlier stuff. But uh, oh, yeah. yeah, definitely cool stuff. Um, don't count this book out, even though it, it does have a big drop. I think it'll come back and Zach will hit you with those numbers. Yeah, it's a, and it's a great <laughs> cover. It's a fantastic cover. Price is year ago for CGC 9 point was $171. Now it's about a hundred, hovered about a hundred. Range has been as low as eighty dollars and as high as two hundred. Average sale is one twenty-seven, so it's kind of close to this current sell price right now. So possibly could wait a little bit and get it for a little bit better deal. Keep an eye out for it. This book probably ball is a little bit volatile. It'll go low, high, low, high. So you might be able to get it on the low, and it's a forty-one percent drop. And multiple first appearances for an awesome Star Wars book. Yeah, pretty nice. Pretty nice. 
I'd get it. I'd get it when I get a chance. It's hard to say because, uh, you know, it's too many spoilers. Obviously, if you guys saw Rogue One and yeah. you've seen it and you kind of know Everyone. nobody makes it. But they were able to pull some stuff off, you know, so we could see them all again. And uh, what? Well, well, you know, they don't actually show them being blown apart, the last two people. It's a possibility. Okay, there's a story where I got tricked on April Fool's Day where I saw this uh, this thing on Google where they were like, hey, just so you know, Rogue Two is coming out. And they secretly didn't die. And they got, like, lifted off the ship. And I was so excited. And I'm like, they're doing Rogue Two? This is a thing? And I forgot it was April Fool's. And they got me. They got me. Well, think of <laughs> you saw that Ahsoka died. She didn't die. We didn't, well, that was... There was some uh, yeah. weird kind of... Did you travel. see the body? I know, I'm like, Kanan, if you don't Kanan died, see, he's like, did you see the body? I'm like, I'm pretty sure he's dead, dude. <laughs> if you don't see the body, that means they have a chance. <laughs> see, don't tell me the odds. You Never didn't, you didn't see the, the Emperor's odds. body. Well, you see it got cut in half, but like... Emperor didn't get cut in half. Didn't he get cut in half? No, they threw him on that hole. Beams? No, they threw him like, on ah, that And then he hit something, or like, would, cut him in half? That would have been cool. That would have been cool. <laughs> All right, and the last book on the list. And this is probably why you should be a little careful of anything too new uh, that comes out. Because this, this is actually a really cool book, but it did have a huge drop. This is Star Wars High Republic Adventures Annual... Number one, say that 10 times fast, this is from IDW, 2021 is when this came out. Jason Liu and Charles Soule. Great cover. There's a lot of crazy eyes going on in that cover if you guys mm. didn't. It's like, Rrr. But um, this also has a lot of uh, good first appearances. And I think a lot of people missed this book coming out because it wasn't part of the regular High Republic Marvel run. It mm. was the IDW Adventures Kids run. Oh. And it's an annual, so if you were already signed up to get the other books, you have to choose to get the annual added into it and if you don't you miss it so oh, that's okay. why i think this book had a bigger spike when it came out because people forgot to order it but the first appearances are and a lot of these are like newer characters so you might not recognize the name is uh bell setafar who's a jedi padawan uh you mm -hmm. got loden great storm who's a jedi master indira stokes who's another jedi master and the big one is porter angle a uh, another jedi master who shows his first appearance in this book He's the money character uh, by a lot. So what happened was last year they were doing the new Star Wars High Republic run, the one with the blue lettering on it. Mm -hmm. There's a spin-off series called The Blade, which is really, really cool. That stars Porter Angle. He's the main character of that book. And there's a lot of confusion. I even with myself going on with these kind of books, because they're like, okay, Disney's gonna do a, a High Republic TV show, but they also have new books coming out. So I think people are getting confused, like how important these characters should be because like obviously if they come on a tv show the book's gonna like go to the moon if they get their own uh you know private comic book it still should get some hype but this book got really hot really 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 hot so just be on the lookout of that um uh the that comic book the star wars high republic the blade i actually think is a better story than the regular ongoing one so if you get a chance pick it up it's a little more contained there's only like two jedis in it um him and his padawan so it's a little easier to read and understand so Definitely check that out, but uh, it's way, way on the drop list. It's the number one book of the week. Yeah, Porter 54 Degree Angle has dropped in the wrong direction, guys. Prices a year ago, you, you get that? You, you, funny, it's angles. <laughs> uh, Prices a year ago for CDC 9.8 was $186. Now it's $52. Range is $40 to $186. Average sale is $79. It's a 72% flop guys i don't i a lot of good first appearances so for 50 dollars, take a chance on it i'm not gonna be mad at you for buying it i might limited buy it. i think too like i said i might even buy it check, check, take a look at the census you know it might tell you there's only a hundred I and mean, people are insane for not buying this book at a higher quantity and raising the prices mm -hmm. but my overall pick for this would be price star wars 2 but the bargain I would think the bargain would be the Rogue One because it has a great cover, multiple first appearances. There's gonna they're gonna do something with it again, and you know they're gonna do another Andor, so that book, book is probably gonna pop up a little bit. And yeah, it's, that would be the bargain book. But the book that you probably should get, everybody should get, is Star Wars Two. If you even have any inkling of like for Star Wars, and you got the little cash, burn a hole in your pocket. That's what I would think. That's yeah. what I think you should do. Yeah, yeah I should just do it too. Time to go get one. Time to go get one. Time. You have a Star Wars 1. You don't have Star Wars 2. Not anymore. 
Yeah. Mm. It's time to go get one. All right, guys. That's going to wrap up the drop list for this week. All Star Wars, all exciting all the time. And if you love hearing this galaxy far, far away like we do, all you got to do is hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the notification bell so you always know when new things are coming out and when we're going live on Wednesday, which we do from time to time. And uh, leave a comment down below. Let us know uh, what your guys' new favorite Star Wars property is. Anything that's come out um, before, after the prequels. Anything that's come out after the prequels. Let oh, us yeah. know what you like the best. Whether it's animation or live action, movie or TV show. I'd love uh, to hear from everybody's favorite. Or just tell us if you hate Star Wars. Because that happens too. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah. Hopefully you don't. Oh, no. I know there's a couple of you out there that do. <laughs> I know you're out there. Zach, you got anything else? Yeah, you got to share how you do that is. You have to have the force in you guys. But don't be fooled by these robes. <laughs> I'm a Jedi master. <laughs> Grandmaster. Never can be stopped. I jump around, flipping around like freaking spider monkey. You know, that would be like dropping in, cutting you in half, having a couple lightsaber battles, maybe some, you know, laser things coming out of your hands. Because that should be the next thing. There's, there's a force push. There's a... You know, the lightning. The force tickle. The force tickle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Palpatine's going to make that. <laughs> He's going to come back again. And that's how you get those gains. The force gains. The force gains. Don't force any gains. Let him flow through you. Yeah. Let the let, let the hate let flow. That ancestors flow through you. No, no. Until next time. Either. Remember, stay safe and get those force gains. Get them. Um, Every single one.